Libra, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we're going to pull some messages that are going to help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or a specific person, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we're going to be pulling final message not only from your angels but from your unicorn as well. So we're going to get into that. But first and foremost, right now, we want to dive straight into your affirmation for the day because this is going to be it for this period in your life. All right. So write this down in the comments below to bring it into your awareness, right? I relax. I allow. I receive. I relax. I allow. I receive. This is how the universe flows and this is how we attract instead of effort or try to manifest the life that we want. See, you always have beautiful opportunities aligning with your energy, whether this be in the form of new love, a new career, a new, you know, uh, travel project, whatever it is that your heart truly desires, do know that it is in the cards for you. Again, we have the wheel of fortune, so travel is definitely a possibility, but it's going to fill your heart with a lot of joy and a lot of love. And these new opportunities, again, are already manifested. They just have to now align with your frequency, you see. And so when we relax, in other words, being in a state of ease, what happens is we are no longer overthinking our thoughts. We're not obsessing about the outcome. We're not attached to the outcome. We're really tuning in and listening to what our higher voice or our inner voice, higher guidance, excuse me, is saying. So that's the intu your intuition. Now, there's going to be moments in this journey of life where we are going to go off on our own track and, uh, you know, off on the own be our own beaten path here and explore for ourselves, right? And experience for ourselves with kind of tuning out that higher self voice. It's just how the game of life goes. And it's, it's what happens when, um, you know, we go through these phases, right? We go through these periods where sometimes we are, you know, fully connected and we hear, but then we become attached to an outcome from something, or we've become influenced by what someone else has said. And we have to go explore for ourselves. We have to go and experience for ourselves. At that point, we may not uh, remain t attuned to our higher self intuition, right? The voice that kind of comes from within or the, the energy that kind of comes from, you know, within as above, so below, right? Your higher self is above and, and we are here below on planet earth, let's just say, or in this other dimension, let's just say. And so when we listen and tune into our heart centers and our, and our physical bodies, and we attune to that frequency and you know, we're, we're responding from that place, our inner knowing, right? Our knowing, then we are attuned to our higher self. But there's times here on planet Earth when we will disconnect again from being overattached to the outcome or connecting more to the fear and then putting control. And then we may experience the emotional state of anger, right? Now, anger is a very powerful emotion, but we want to remind you one thing, and this is a really important thing, beautiful soul, is that when you experience anger and when you go through those moments of polarity, those contrasting moments where you think, how is this happening to me? Why is this happening? I don't understand. Know that these moments of polarity is what it is that's allowing you to discover who you truly are. So never look at polarity. Never look at your life when you get angry or upset. Anything that happens, you know, I know sometimes we look at things like it's, it's a big deal. It really is only a big deal because our egos become bruised. Like if, if our, our, our partners cheat on us or if we lose a bunch of money, you know, or if we once were successful or not, or we gain a bunch of weight or whatever, like these things happen, right? And it is because we disconnect from our inner voice, our inner guidance. And so it's nothing to be hard on yourself with. It's nothing to be, um, you know, making this a, a bigger deal. It just, it is what it is. And through this experience is going to help your soul grow and allow you to experience lessons you would have never learned otherwise. So always know that. And the best thing you can do for yourself, if you're ever in that moment of contrast and polarity, is just make sure that you're nurturing yourself and getting yourself lots of rest. Remember, I relax, I allow, I receive. So when you relax, then you're in the receival mode. You allow, right? And you receive all. So get enough rest. If you're feeling extra tired, fatigued, get that rest so you can reconnect back to your passion, reconnect back to that fire in your heart, fire in your spirit, right? At the end of the day, there's nothing you have to do today. There's no rushed action. There's no controlled force. And this truly is a lucky time for you. But with the message of rabbit spirit also brings the message of vulnerability. So you may be going through some changes right now, some shifts, and these shifts are going to be energetically, um, you know, fatiguing because as you vibrationally, as you increase your vibration and as you experience new 
new things. That's exactly what it is, a new experience. And that's why we feel fatigued sometimes. You ever like been to a new job or learned a new skill and you just feel so tired, so mentally drained, right? That's why we always say with our the working breed dogs here, right? Mentally stimulate them because that's what's going to make them tired, not exercise, but mental stimulation. Same thing with us empaths. When we have a lot of energy, it's not the necessarily the exercise. The exercise is what's going to fatigue our bodies and clear our energy, right? So that our, our hearts can speak more clearly um, and so our mind will relax. But in terms of actually like feeling that feeling state of exhaustion and fatigue, it's going to be learning something new, learning new skills and trying new things in life. And again, when we try new things, we're going to we're going to make those choices that may not resonate and we're going to maybe feel that emotion that comes when we feel like we're doing something wrong, experiencing that polarity. But we want to remind you, you're never doing anything wrong. You're literally just experiencing and allowing your soul to grow. So throughout this journey, observe, just observe, be the observer of your life, right? A neutral observer. Seahorse spirit brings the message of not my circus, not my monkeys, not my circus, not my monkeys, not my circus, not my monkeys. When you see a traffic jam, not my circus, not my monkeys. When you see a car accident, not my circus, not my monkeys. When you see somebody yelling at someone else in the grocery store, not my circus, not my monkeys, because you don't want to connect to that energy. It's only going to lower your frequency even more. You're going to talk about it. You're going to explain about it. You're going to tell the story to your friends. You know what I mean? Like anytime we see something that is like, whoa, like it gets our attention emotionally we, and we connect to it because it's like the one thing that happened emotionally in our lives. You know what I mean? We just got to let all of that go. We just got to really not allow that energy to kind of come in and interfere with our own. We always have to be really on track with what our intentions are for our life and really connect to our purpose and stay focused on it and understand that through the series of exploration experience and really just dialing in your focus on your own life your own frequency and really prioritizing your frequency beautiful soul because prioritizing your frequency will will cut a lot of things out of your life right in a good way and you'll be able to create this sense of belief within yourself because with squirrel spirit it brings the message of you are right now going through experiences that are, gonna, that are going to benefit you for your future and for your long-term success. So squirrel spirit, squirrels bury, uh, take nuts and they bury them for the winter, right? So they take them all summer and they, they bury them for the winter time. And so this is like what you're doing right now. You're going through experiences to gain knowledge so that you're able to have that wisdom with you for, the, for other periods of your life, other phases of your life. So again, through this, what may seem more of like a challenging time for yourself, this is actually going to be that foundation that you're laying. Again, it's through adversity that a soul meets the who they truly are, right? So it's through your hardest difficulties in life that you discover who you truly are. So it's about what actions are you taking every day that align you with your purpose and every day you're doing the right things because every day you are intending to be the person that you always want to become and we can feel that from you. So at this time, give yourself some rest, right? Make sure that you're getting enough sleep because don't worry, beautiful soul, new beginnings are on their way for you. New moments of passion, new moments of exciting, new beginnings of adventure with this ace of wands card so now we have not only the ace of wands but we also have the ace of cups how incredible so libra take a look at this right here this is what's coming forward for you now this could be a new relationship filled with passion this could be a new career choice this could be a new path but either way it's going to be complete alignment so i relax i allow i receive i relax i allow i receive i relax i allow i receive give yourself some rest and build that beautiful momentum in the direction that you want right momentum is what we create from the thoughts that we think so build it, choose wisely, right? Deliberately focus your attention into what you want, beautiful soul. Now your unicorn message for today is soul satisfaction. Look at this beautiful card. Honor your uniqueness, do what makes you feel good. I'm gonna read from this a little bit here. This is a card of self-discovery. Your soul is unique and special. For thousands of years, you have been on your own individual journey and developed your gifts and qualities. You are naturally drawn to doing the things that make you feel good. You may derive soul satisfaction from gardening, for example, or singing or writing. You may express your soul through playing sport, composing music, flying a plane, or designing a house. In the golden era of Atlantis, a baby's aura was examined to discover the talents of its soul. Then the child was encouraged to do what it loved and was good at. This meant it felt confident and satisfied at a deep level. Currently, you have to discover your gifts for yourself, so your unicorn guidance is to look within. If you cannot find your gifts, be aware that your unicorn knows what they are. Ask it to bring them forward. It will help reveal the individual magic of your destiny so that the sun can shine in your life. However little time you have for yourself, create space to do more of what you truly enjoy. Express your soul. When you do so, the universe brings forward new possibilities. Isn't that incredible? Um, and the affirmation for this card is, 
I am satisfied at a deep soul level. I am satisfied at a deep soul level. So again, when we relax, when we allow, and we are allowed to receive, uh, just the other day I get told myself, you know what? I'm going on a, a, a screen, kind of a, a, a reducing my screen time, if you will. So I got rid of like all social accounts and so forth, which I don't really go on anyway, but you know, you do go on though sometimes and you don't really realize how draining they can be, even if it's just for like 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, right? Because again, anytime you're focusing on something and it doesn't give you anything back, you're just focusing, focusing, focusing. You're just giving your energy, giving your energy, giving your energy, and it's just depleting, right? So that's why we always want to be mindful of what we actually give our attention to. So I've been sitting more with myself, especially on this juice cleanse, you know, just sitting with myself. And uh, and then the idea came forward of drawing, getting back into drawing. My soul loves to draw and create art, especially drawing like realistic wildlife. Now, it's not like I'm really good at it. I was just, you know, freehanding before, but it was something I really enjoyed. So that's something that came forward. So now I'm investigating that just a little bit more. And that's quite soul satisfying for me. And it's a fun, creative way to uh, express myself and better everything else in my life. So hopefully that comes forward for you with a little bit of rest as well. Blessing in disguise is your angel message. Not hopefully, it will. <laughs> it will come forward when you give yourself rest. <laughs> it, um, I'm tired today, Libra. Do you bear with me? So your angel message for today is what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons. Oh, this is so good. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. So again, right, whatever we think is our greatest turmoil, right, our biggest adversity, right, we can't get over this. This will be what shapes and, and, and pivots and provides the clarity that you've been looking for. This, this moment in your life, Libra, is going to give you the answers that you've been seeking. So just observe right now, right? Monitor your own frequency. Be mindful of where you're placing your focus because whatever we focus on, we mirror that frequency. And, um, and, and, and just allow life to guide you forward. But remember, I relax, I allow, I receive. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby. <laughs>